guys, what's going on? Today is the day. I am on my way to Iowa. I am in my rental car. I got upgraded to a Jeep Compass. And it is nice. It was free because they had so many of them that they, uh, they asked if I wanted one at no extra cost. And I was like, sure, and I'm glad I did. It's got a lot of room. I can stretch back here, relax. Not to mention all the controls since I have a Jeep Wrangler are exactly the same. It looks like it does in my truck, but the only problem is I keep wanting to shift because I have a stick. But yeah, I just left Love's uh, truck stop. Um, come here, pick up a couple things and tried to get some gas on my rewards card like I was talking about yesterday, but I found out you can only get it on diesel, which is no problem. I only got like six gallons of gas anyway, so. Um, but I picked me up a cigarette lighter adapter that has the because this thing only has one cigarette lighter in it. So I got one of the ones that actually had three on it and it was on sale. So I got it for like, I think seven bucks off. So that's pretty nice. But I'm on my way to Iowa. I got the car set up, I'm fueled up. I'm down here at the Loves on a Highway 13, getting ready to get on 69 and head that way. And uh, make my way to Cedar Rapids. And it's starting to set in that I'm gonna be gone for a month, so. Uh, I don't know. I hope it goes by quick. You know, I don't know what to expect. It's the anticipation of not knowing. Uh, Turn left on I-69 South. Of what to do, and uh, so we're gonna go smooth. Hopefully tomorrow when I get my um my uh, physical, everything goes fine, goes okay. We don't have to worry about all the medication issue was talking about, but. Uh, We'll see, it's uh, 12.30 here in Indiana, that means it's 11.30 in Iowa, so uh, my my uh, GPS has me arriving there right now at around 5.30 Iowa time, because I believe it changes to their time automatically when you put their address in. So yeah, I got about six and a half hours, looks like. So I'll be blogging or vlogging along the way, and um, you know, here and there showing some sights and stuff like that but uh it's officially here i am gone and won't be back for a month hopefully and i say hopefully because if that's the case i know i will uh, that i passed my physical so just said bye to steph she took me down to the rental car place picked it up filled her up and now uh it's all interstate baby and uh by the way thank god we didn't get that Winter storm of 2017, huh? Well, that was a joke. Hey, uh, wouldn't it be great to be a weatherman? They're, they get paid six figures a year to be wrong all the time. Them and baseball players, the only two professions I know that you can fail more than you succeed and you still have a job. It's like a baseball player, if you bat 300, you're considered having a great year, but technically you're failing 70% of the time. Weatherman, never get shit right. I mean, it was supposed to be just nasty. Not that I complained it because, trust me, I didn't want to drive in it, but it was just hilarious. I mean, last night we had our show, and it was packed. Didn't, you know, didn't scare anybody off, thank God. So I was pretty happy about that. Show went good. That's a cool video I posted on Facebook from it. But uh, it was a nice little send off before I head to Cedar Rapids, you know. And so I had a good time last night. Only got about six hours sleep, but I feel pretty good. And uh, we're just gonna make his journey. So, like I said, I'll vlog on the way there. A, to show you guys some stuff, and B, just to help me stay sane. So, hang in there, stay tuned, and I'll talk to y'all here in a little bit. What up? It's about a, well, right at an hour and a half since I spoke to you guys last. I just crossed the little Indiana border. Make killer time from the time I left that truck stop to uh, I took 74 and it's right at an hour and a half and uh, traffic's been great there's like been none at all um, the weather as you can see the sun has been shining the roads are perfectly dry so there was no ice storm here I mean it looks like a summer day except for no leaves on the trees it's been beautiful um, I mean I haven't got caught up one time traffic's in like a bare, bare minimum. They, uh, I think everybody's at home today. It's just, I couldn't pick a better day to travel up. 
Uh, I did forget to mention though last time that we were on here, I had a little issue with my car here. <clears throat> the place that I chose to uh, um, return it in Cedar Rapids is not open today. So I kind of have a little predicament when I get to Cedar Rapids. I don't know where I'm going to take my car. I, um, I, I They have a, a, a place in the airport I'm hoping it's open because, you know, Enterprise will take you back to the hotel, but if not, I'm going to have to figure out if the hotel will shuttle me or if I can Uber or something. But I, I can return the car tomorrow when I pick it up, you know, at the same time I picked it up because I have it technically till uh, noon tomorrow, but I will be in class all day tomorrow and they pick you up at 7.30 and so I, I just, I won't have time because they don't open until 7.30 tomorrow. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do there. That's one thing. As soon as I get to the hotel, I'm going to have to figure it out. But, yeah, everything's going great. Uh, cruising right along. Uh, wish I could switch a camera to show you. But, I mean, I think the nearest car up there from is at least a mile away. And uh, haven't ran into any issues. Knock on wood. Like I said, there's no ice. There's not even a sign of rain. It's just been great. A little stuffy. I need to get my nasal spray. But when I pull over and use the restroom, I'll do that. I got a... Uh, I still got a ways before I hit Peoria. And then I make my change. But um, I got 89 miles till I make the turn off to head to Peoria. So I still got a ways to go. But yeah, it's going great. Can't complain. Uh, God has blessed me today with a very, very nice trip. I mean, it's relaxing. I've had, actually, I can take this seat all the way back here like this. And I've been stretching my legs out and all that good stuff. But, yeah, it's just uh, pretty cool. My recruiter actually texted me and asked me if I was doing okay, which I thought was pretty cool of her to do on a Sunday. Uh, I guess she's had some people are having trouble getting up. I don't know where from, but I guess the weather has impacted some of the guys who are supposed to be here this week. But I know us and now everything's perfect and uh, I got to ask for a better uh, better drive. So looking forward to getting there. I did find out my loves card though, that thing I went over yesterday about the cards. You can't use it for gas. You can only use it for diesel fuel. So I wasn't able to use it to earn points, but hell, I'll only be using it for diesel anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on how I was going to where I was. Uh, I'm, you know, a few miles into Illinois now, and uh, just cruising right along. Like I said, it's a barren road, man. It looks like everybody stayed home, and I'm not complaining one bit. So, I will talk to you guys here in a little bit give you another update and uh just basically talk to you then a little update guys i just found out some good news i found uh there's three enterprise rental cars in um cedar rapids and one closed at noon the others close all day but the other one doesn't close till six so um i called them and they're gonna let me take the car straight there and then they're gonna just drive me back to the hotel. So I got that taken care of, thank God, because I didn't know what I was gonna do and I didn't want to get charged another day. Um, so got that taken care of. But um, I was here in Illinois and I was out in the middle of nowhere and there's a field and uh, there was two guys standing out in the field. And one of them had a thing on his arm and he was messing with like his hawk. I think it was a hawk, I'm pretty sure. And it was cool, he sending it out and it would come back and land on his arm. He was practicing with him. Just something you don't see every day. I thought it was pretty neat though. He had a, he had a bunch of decoys out there too, like decoy ducks. And, and he was like sending his hawk out to fly around and then it would come back and land on his arm. So that was pretty, pretty awesome, man. You don't see that every day. So I thought that was pretty cool, but still weather's great as you can see. The sun's brightly shining. Road's perfect, made a great time figured out the rental car situation and uh, I couldn't be happier um, I am seeing some uh, ice on the trees but like there is not a thing on the road I mean I wish I could show you the road literally looks like a summer day it's dry perfect like not even a wet spot but I noticed some of these trees over here 
have a little bit of ice on them, so they must have got a little bit of something. But I show 33 degrees over here. It was 30 when I left home, so it's warmed up a little bit on the way. But uh, yeah, everything's going great. Really excited to get to the hotel, show you guys the hotel and uh, all that stuff and get this video uploaded. So anyway, just thought I'd uh, let you know I got that taken care of and um, everything's going great and I'll, I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. And they say Indiana doesn't have shit. Illinois doesn't have any room to talk. That is barren as barren can be. Yeah, buddy. Hey guys, uh, just had to make a quick pit stop, top off the gas, and uh, got me some uh, another pop and a couple things to eat. And hopefully this will make it to Cedar Rapids on this tank because I'm really cutting time short. I had to change, like I said, uh, the Enterprise, and they are further north than the other one. Right now, it's gonna be arriving at 538. I did have it down to below 530, which is where I wanna be because I wanted to give a half hour to be able to get me there and back. They said the guy gets pretty pissed if he has to stay. Um, so, I'm trying to make up some time here. I had a cop sitting in a median when I came off the on-ramp and I thought it was still 70. So I started accelerating and it was 65. And he ended up coming out behind me and he ran up right up on my butt and I thought, oh man, he got me. But no, uh, he was like right on my ass. So I got over the right lane as soon as I could because I was by a semi and he just flew by me. So I don't know where he was going or what the hurry he was in, but I was happy because I thought I was get pulled over and I can't afford that financially or time-wise because I have got to make up some time. So I typed in a new address and it's got me arriving, like I said, just after 5.30, but the speed limit is 65 right now and I'm running over 65, let's just say that. And I'm trying to cut some time off. Um, try to get her down there below 5.30 to give that guy enough time to get me there and back and him get off work in time. So anyway, just updating you on what's going on. Drive's still great, no problems, no traffic. Been wonderful. Um, I did gain an hour, so it's only 2.12 right now. It's 3.12 in Indiana. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, shave some time off here and get her going. And. Uh, Hopefully I can find the uh, Packers Dallas game on the radio, like listen to that, but I don't know how well that's gonna happen without my XM satellite, so. Anyway, just giving you an update what was going on. I'm gonna jump off here, eat my lunch, and uh, keep her cruising. I'll catch you when we uh, hit the Illinois-Iowa border. What up, y'all? I just saw one of the most interesting speed traps I've ever seen. Eyes coming up, on, I'm on I-74, and I come up to this uh, overpass, this bridge that was just running across, and I noticed a white unmarked car just parked on top of the overpass with his window down. And he was uh, over the uh, westbound lane. And uh, so of course, immediately I slowed down to make sure I was within the limit there. Sure enough, a mile and a mile and a half ahead was uh, six state troopers, just staggered. Uh, the first three had cars pulled over. Continue on and four seventy four. See, there was one, two, three. There were six. Yeah. So the first three had cars pulled over, and the the next three were just sitting there with their lights on. So he evidently was radaring them, and then relaying what car it was, and then they were just picking them off. Man, it was it's crazy. They were just all sitting there in the side road at an angle, like just waiting to jump out onto the interstate. So. Anyway, I uh, thought that was kind of interesting, so I wanted to share it with you. I'm halfway through my trip now, well, a little little over halfway. I'm still got about three hours to go, so uh, things are going good still, but so you got three hours to go to try to get to Enterprise before they close. Uh, I'm shaving time off a little bit. Hopefully this gas will last me I'll get there, but right now it looks like I'm gonna arrive around 5.30, but if I can just keep shaving a minute off here and there, the better so we'll uh catch up to you guys here in a little bit 
Hey, Dad. What river's that? Rusty? That's the old Mississippi River. The old Miss, the old man. Deep River. A little flashback to National Lampoon's vacation. Just crossed over the mighty Mississippi into Iowa. Beautiful out there. A little frozen. Yet nonetheless beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Just love it. And welcome to Iowa. So as you just saw, I just crossed the uh, mighty Mississippi. A little throwback to National Lampoon's vacation. And I am officially in Iowa. So I am um, almost done with my journey. And it's not really been that bad. I actually have the uh, Sirius XM satellite radio app on my phone. So I listen to the Cowboys and the uh, Packers game. So that's been nice. And the weather is gorgeous. As a matter of fact, it's uh, over here in Iowa. The clouds, uh, the edge of the clouds are over and uh, I can actually see the sun setting. So yeah, it's been a nice drive. Traffic's been absolutely wonderful. I haven't gotten stuck at all. And uh, just looking forward to getting to Cedar Rapids and getting in my hotel and getting settled in for the night and go downstairs and watch the Kansas City game. Um, grab by D. And uh, hopefully get a good night's sleep and get up in the morning and hit the old uh, the old shuttle on the way over to West Side. So that's the update, man. I will uh, probably next time I talk to you, I will be in Cedar Rapids. So I'll talk to you then. Bye bye. What's up, guys? Just made it to the hotel room. I mean, sorry, the hotel. It's a Clarion. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this hotel is awesome uh the driver that took me here told me this is where the college teams stay when they play the hawkeyes because iowa uh the iowa campus is actually um not far from here at all you go through iowa city on the way here and uh cedar rapids is where i'm at which is only 19 miles from iowa city and i'll tell you what this place the city's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so i didn't realize how big it was it's uh it's actually like Fort Wayne, but actually I think bigger. It's got like a lot of tall buildings downtown and it's just really, um, really nice. Um, everything's just, there's a lot of headquarters stuff here, like Quaker headquarters here, CRST trucking headquarters here. Um, I'm not, there's a lot of companies that are headquartered out of here. It's just, there's a lot of economy here. So it's a lot different than Anderson. But I'm, uh, as you can see, I had so much stuff here I had to grab a cart because I won't be here for a month so they check you in here for four days um, for your orientation now if you leave on the third day they refund my money now what I did was I paid an extra $28 a night to get my own room so basically I'm a I don't have to bunk with people um, so for all you drivers coming here that you are looking at the west side it is definitely uh so far they do hook you up with uh with a pretty nice place just check the room out here i got double beds but yeah so anyway it's uh, all non-smoking too so that's nice so you don't have to worry about that it's a whole non-smoking room or uh hotel and anyway so i made it i gotta unpack and get everything ready i'm gonna grab something to eat find something to eat there's a taco bell like right across the way uh, there's a bar here but they don't serve food on sundays so i'm not gonna do the bar tonight um they do the rest of the week though and uh all that good stuff so um here's my room got a Nice flat screen there. Looks like I got a microwave and a fridge if I want to go do a little shopping or something. And my office over there, which is where I'll be working on the vlogs tonight. And nice bathroom here. So, yeah, this is home for at least three days, maybe four. It just depends on if my trainer's ready or not. So, hey, the, uh, the travel was good. Like I said on the way up, I had no problems. I made it here in like six hours. And, uh, 
found the Enterprise place. It was north of town, so they they took me here. The driver was really cool, talked me about some stuff and let me know places to go and stuff. Um, other than that, man, that's really it. Um, as far as orientation goes, like I said, they put you up in this nice hotel room and um, they have a shuttle that takes us over. Breakfast is at six in the morning, six to nine. Shuttle leaves at 7.30. So basically, I um, need to be in the lobby by 7.25, they said. So I'll just get up six, get down to eat breakfast and hang out in the lobby. They said only four or five of us showed up so far and they had some cancellations because of weather. Uh, there is an ice storm warning tonight here at 9 p.m. It was all over the interstate uh, where you go over there past the, the bill or not the billboards, those light up signs that like, give you traffic info and stuff. So, yeah, it's gonna wake up that, but I don't have to drive. And then the later in the week, it's supposed to be warm. So, uh, we're an hour behind here, so it's only 10 till 6. And, um, like I said, I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm really, really hungry. And then we'll get back here to the room, I'm gonna settle in and uh get ready for the night so i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog off right now and uh hope you guys enjoyed my trip up here tomorrow i'll have all the info on orientation day one what we do what they do what you go through and all that good stuff so as far as that goes that's it and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow have a good night and i hope everything goes well tomorrow because if not i got a long drive back home so we'll catch you later